What is up and welcome back guys. Today is going to be a change of pace. We are going to be checking out the International Auto Show here at Calgary, downtown Calgary. We've got the whole game. We've got David. We got we got David, David, Taylor and Adrian all together. We're going to go probably be checking out most of the Japanese cars, but there's lots here. We're also going to be checking out um, there's a race track here. <laughs> and um, we're gonna see if we're gonna get a racetrack to soon or not. But I'll see you guys inside because we got a little bit of a walk to do. Literally entered right back there, Nissan booth, GTR, 370, and Subaru is up there. We're looking at this GTR, guys. I don't know if you can see it, but look at the swirls in the paint. They someone needs to polish that up. It's a hell. We come from the inside of a beer seat right now, guys. Um, this is the new. It's got the STI bits, and it's not even, even a TS. That's not even. But we're talking about the back seats. Like, there's no back seat in this car whatsoever. They should just put it but as a parcel. But I do love this car. This would be a fun little car. Like, I love it. But we also noticed. Do you guys the recognize touch. these switches? The <laughs> these switches are the same thing as my 04 STI. See, so they haven't changed it. Adrian's just doing gear changes. So we just walked out of the Subaru booth because oh. it's extremely busy, but there's the, yeah, the other Evo makers and there's no Evo. Well, they don't make it anymore, so they don't make anything cool. So we're skipping this booth. <laughs> so David, what, what's your challenge today? What are you gonna do? All the loot. He's gonna see if he can get a loot from every booth, I guess. Well, probably won't get anything from Lamborghini. Get as no, I'm gonna get as much loot as I There's some more loot. I mean, that's not real loot. No. Oh there's God. a turbo yeah, hiding so back small. there, and there's a turbo hiding <laughs> right that's back more. there. But it is literally like this big. Like, well, I mean, it's an eighth of my like STI what turbo. This, uh, and this is the Stinger, uh, if you guys didn't know. Yeah. <laughs> Look at what we found, guys. So there's the Volkswagen and their Supra. <laughs> yeah, like that. Okay, it looks like a Bella Cover that doesn't fit properly. Just go to the. BMW. I don't know. As soon as you get to the side, it's like. It's not that bad looking. I was still like an old one. And on to the next booth. I think we're going to Ford next? I don't know. Oh, well, we're still at Toyota, and here's a 4Runner. Oh, there's a 400 watt inverter in this vehicle. What? Open the back. Open the, open the go. I try. But I love that paint color, guys. That would be a close second to my, like, Forster. The Ford booth is actually the quietest one we've found so far, maybe because it's so damn big. But anyways, this video is going to be completely disorganized just because like some places like Toyota booth, there's no way I was getting um, like this without like a proper mic setup because you guys would not hear me at all. But we're looking for a Ford Focus right now. Our, our Ford Focus RS. David, what can you put in there? I could put a child in there. <laughs> we're in like an, an exposite Holy expedition. Holy shit! You could put a child in there. <laughs> in the Ford booth. My head. How big is this bitch? <laughs> Yakers. <laughs> And right, uh, this is massive. It's a, a moonroof and a half, mate. But <laughs> that's head that's some headroom. It's perfect, Adrian. What is this headroom? Yeah, For something this big, you think there'd be better headroom? Oh, oh. nice. You would hope so. Like Man, what? Shite too. I don't like. I don't. I, I love it. I don't like it. One, two, four. I wonder where where David's I wanna, going. I want to see if they have a special edition. Mazda, Miata. I totally. I mean, it. Love everything's this. in the same spot as the NA, and that's the weird part. <laughs> Like everything is in the same spot. And there's the back end. So this okay, is the Taga top one, and I love it. Worst. Yeah. Like I love this, this paint and everything so about this car. I would totally get one if I needed a convertible daily, and just to drive around because it's just yeah. awesome. They said they found a car that I'm gonna like. I if it's a bag something. Is it a Porsche? No. Is it MG? No. Or Porsche? Where, where are we? We're in the hybrid we're, section. We're in the what? Oh hey. We're in the hybrid. Oh, there's an NSX. So, new NSX, and actually someone owns it. It's They drove it in here, it's registered. That's true. But do you get this... But do you get this styling? Ooh, the paint looks so good on camera, guys. Holy. But this is a hybrid section, so there's nothing else interesting. Oh, I see a Volvo. This is a Golf R, Adrian. Oh, oh. Actually, I still have legroom. Really? This is all the way back? No, it's not. Oh. Is it large enough for you? I'm gonna go forward just a bit. That's, I have leg room. I have plenty of leg room. This is me this, in my comfortable position. Yeah. This, this would be a nice daily. Is it pretty, is it pretty, good? Yeah. pretty good? What's the range on electric though? Uh, <laughs> why can you not do any menu functions? Y'all. Why can you, <laughs> you can't do anything. I mean, it's not half bad actually. And then put batteries everywhere yeah. under the seats. Huh. 
that's the interesting. Only, that's the only battery that you got. <laughs> well, no, that's the only <laughs> no, 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 no. battery in the vehicle. Yeah. No, no, no. That's, that's, oh, that's your entire that's range. range. Yeah. That's how And then over there's a... Look at the Type R. Type R, I guess. Like Might factory, well. right? Really outdated in six years. Yeah. I don't know. I'm just not a huge fan of everything they've done to it. It's cool, but it's not like... I wouldn't buy it. Not at all. They didn't have this like solid eight. Yeah, essentially. Like We're more interested in the classic cars. But it's still pretty. It's in really good yeah. shape. Look at the Civic, guys. It's it's nice. But it's an automatic. Yeah. Uh, we're, we're just checking Alphas and you know, this is just casually sitting over here. It's such a pretty car. If, if you know Jag F-Types. Frick, this is a beautiful car. I want it. Hey Adrian, how much do you like this car? Nut. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is such oh, a beautiful car. So, so if you don't know, good. this is the F-Type that I just walked by like 10 seconds ago, guys. Just, it is so good. Like, everything about this car is amazing. Except maybe the boot. There's like no room in the boot, but you know. That doesn't open up the trunk. Man. Yeah. Man. The trunk with a man. Oh. oh. Everything's like soft touch it plastic. Has 21 kilometers on it. I would go 340 in this. Yeah. I would. <laughs> you paid for the entire I would. You have to use it. <laughs> yeah, this is I a beautiful car, guys. Floor. Can Adrian fit in the back of a Lexus? It is the question. Moves the seat. Oh, please stop moving. Oh, please stop moving. <laughs> I'm not moving it. He does it by itself. <laughs> yes, he does it by itself. I, no, imagine being back there for eight hours. <laughs> Going down to like. Okay, okay, watch this, watch this. It's fine. Watch this, watch this. Adrian, oh, sorry, Jason. <laughs> Adrian, what did you pull? What did you pull? <laughs> the top lever. Watch this, ready? Watch this. Watch this. That's some bougie shit. <laughs> so, so, if the car is burning it on fire. <laughs> the car, did you see how stupid my head was? <laughs> I don't know the really car. It's, it's, um. These ones are pretty cheap. iPad? Uh. Oh, that's a little broken. That's really broken. That's a little broken, you guys. <laughs> It's a little broken, boys. I thought like the, the five finger swipe out was no, the... no. It's it's locked, but it's not completely locked. Anyways, Porsche booth. Lotus, I spy Lotus. Found a race car, guys. Race cars. <laughs> That's cool, but those are fun. <laughs> we found Adrian's car, a Volvo. You know, Adrian loves Volvo. That's no, not available. The one with the steering wheel is your semi-autonomous. And this one is just your adaptive cruise. Whoa, this has lumbar oh. support that just randomly went. That's weird. It's got like wood grain. Yeah, this is Volvo. Is this rustling your jimmies, guys? This is nice. Is it that? Is it's it pretty. Yeah. Yeah. This has got a massage right? thing. This is, I would road trip this out any day. Oh yeah, I was gonna buy this one. You're gonna buy it? Yeah. Yeah. At 20, oh, it's, yeah, it's got the Bowers and Wilkins. Which sounds phenomenal. I bet. Massage is on, side bolsters. Can I move this? Whoa, you can move the side bolsters in. Adrian, you can go white. You can go JDM or not. You can go full race car. Lumbar support. Still only goes that far. Just walk past like three or four of like the exotic cars boots, spending like a couple minutes not even looking at them. But we're interested in the cars that we can actually afford. <laughs> and yeah, I don't like that. That's really ugly. No. It's literally, they put a grill of like a, um, one of their cars on a wagon and just calls it a day. No, it's an SUV. A heavy SUV, <laughs> if anything. Look at this, guys. So this is, as I said, it's carbon, but it's a carbon wrap. You can kind of see. But if you look under on the edges, there's real carbon. So this car is fully carbon. It's just they wrapped it with a shitty carbon wrap. Probably to protect it and also just to make it look so you can actually see the carbon where their carbon, yeah, there you can see the actual carbon, isn't exposed or something. So this is what I want to do to the Forester, actually, is put that rooftop tent on the Forester so I can go travel places. We're on the hunt now, so we just passed the tents, and now we're looking for our racetrack, essentially. Alright, you can use that layout there. You need the pit lane to come from here in and over. That's true, yeah. <laughs> well, you figured out how to roll down the window. <laughs> The cars are what we found out its flaws. <laughs> so the window, if you, it rolls down when you close, open the door, and if you just keep on closing it, open it, it'll close all the way down. But we're in a what is it? S five? I'm sorry, Q and A. It's an it's R, it's an RS five. So it's the five door or four door. Is this an R seven? No, I think I see a five. And it's really nice, like, check this out. So nice leather seats, nice little honeycombing, and it's an R7, a great Adrian. Um, carbon bits, and like, this is, a this is a nice, like, daily. It'd be really nice to daily. 
Adrian claims it's an RS7. RS5. RS5. There's a dash. <laughs> okay. And it says RS. And RS5 right here. It's nice though. I definitely dig it. They did the window all the way down just by opening and closing the door. How do you feel? <laughs> I feel like I'm great. All the Audis do it? I spy a turbo. In a big ass truck. This is a 3500 Dodge Ram. So this is this is this is what you'd use to tow your um, race car to the track. The <laughs> This would pull a house down. <laughs> it let could. alone your race car to a track. So we're back at the Subaru booth, back at Homeland. There's the BRZ, and we're headed to the STI because well, it's an STI. Right there, uh, Subaru, I'm gonna fight you guys. That intercooler. It's bigger than ours. <laughs> yeah. But same part. Same part. They really don't change these. Same. Uh, Guess what? Sure, that's the same. That's the same as mine. That's the same as mine. Oh yeah, little turbski. But you know what else is the same, Adrian? Huh. That. <laughs> yep. It's the one you need. Oh. Yeah. No, this is the STI with the sport pet wing 49. Oh yeah, you need and, the big wing. And in the only color that's acceptable. That kid. Red. Or. Red. Red is better. Actually, red does look pretty good too. Red is. What else? Really good. Not bad. It's not the great in here. Hey Taylor, Do you like welcome car? to the gang. So pretty, so pretty. Hey, it's got a roof rack. Yeah, it does. Hey, if they follow the same mounting as I did. It's yeah, everybody's roof rack they ever buy. On a Subaru. I feel like I'm at home in this car, guys. This car is awesome. The back seat is just as comfortable as in my car or my Adrian's car. And you know what? Feels exactly like Sean's um, 2015 WRX back here. About the same. Um, I do like these seats a lot, check this out. So it's got like that nice suede with a little red accents. You know, Subaru's just doing well. Um, what's really interesting is Subaru's now in the main part of the place. So he, Subaru's making big, big sales now. Like, you see a lot more Subarus lately. And that's probably why they're like one of the first booths you come in. And then look at all these cars out here now, guys. It's incredible. Subaru's making a lot of sales. Yeah, it's way too far back. But you know what? It feels... Pretty damn good. It's awesome. Oh yeah, you could, you Adrian. I can heel toe. Adrian says he can't heel toe, but I could can. totally heel toe. Yeah, you can. Yeah, I can. Well, Look at that. There's just a lot of room in the engine bay when that. you have to pull your motor. Actually, this is easier to heel toe than mine. Hundred percent easier. I cannot heel toe in that car. This is hundred percent easier. Let me see. Let me I see. Can, I can heel but, toe in mine. I can't in this. Oh, that's a notchy transmissions. Let me, see, Chase, let me see if I can this boy. That's a notchy transmission. That's pretty sweet. But yeah, it's honestly the same as Sean's, just with like a little thing here or there. But that transmission is beautiful. And then you know, S drive and stuff. But it's pretty damn good. Yeah, look at this heel toe. Let me see if I can heel toe this. Boy. You should be able to. I think this is Adrian in his feet. Just let me see. Ooh, this clutch is soft. This is what a stock clutch feels like. And you know, Subaru with the classic neon um, brake calipers on the STI. It's just something they've done with just the STI because the WX is not that colorful. Also, their Brembo's where that's just stock brakes, whatever those would be. <laughs> So there we go, that's the end of the auto show. It was a complete mess as always, just because it's hard to film in there and vlog. As you noticed, I didn't do any edits because well, these are just like production cars, so there's nothing super duper special about them. But that's gonna be it for today. We'll get back to the normal schedule of working on Project Daily and getting it all ready to go race. Unfortunately, the autocross actually all got canceled. So there's not really a time limit on when we need to finish it, but we just need to get it done. When we find an Evo in the parking lot, we're all looking at it. Look at it, it's like pretty much stock only thing has got a pillow gauge but everything else is stock on it pretty. that is rare pretty, it's and pretty it's stock and it's, it's in a good really shape. good oh it's got aftermarket intercooler too ets intercooler. Yeah, they've got a different intercooler on it but that is a beautiful um example of an evo right there anyways as i was saying autocross yeah. is now officially cancelled in yyc um unfortunately because the lock got sold out me and adrian can't go race our cars on no. autocross um so there isn't a huge rush to get my car done. Now I'm just waiting on parts so we can get everything um, built. I will go over kind of the things I ordered when they arrive, but that is going to be it to, for today. So until next time, peace out and stay humble. Bye. Bye.